Dean, a fantastic result and into the next round of the Cup. That was the aim. Um, I thought Averley started really well in the first few minutes of the game. We knew they didn't want to get down the sides and try with the pace of front Troy Horters. Once we got to grips with the game, really, I thought it was a very professional performance from us. Obviously, you've got to start with that. Nicky Kabamba hat trick, his second of the season. A delightful performance from him today. Yeah, brilliant. My favourite goal was the header from Gorman's Cross. That was my favourite goal. It was a real Van Nistelrooy type goal. It's something I walk on with, walk on it with him all the time from them areas. And uh, what a great header that was. And to be fair, they were all great goals, weren't they? To be fair, the fourth goal, great run. Straight, uh, straight pass, little diagonal run, straight pass from Brunty. Good team goal. And then obviously the last goal is a bit of class where he's made a good run in behind. So it's good to see him score in one-on-ones. I think that's an, that's an area he can improve, making better runs on the shoulder of defenders. So it's another team we walk on. So special mention to him. He's been brilliant tonight. And it's great as well after Saturday where we didn't necessarily take our chances and today to go and get four goals. It's great, a great reaction. Yeah, even at half-time we were only 1-0 up. You know, I think we, we didn't score like early in the game or anything like that. So um, I thought they kept going. We knew they'd tire. Obviously they're part-time, so we knew they'd tire. And we, the main thing for us was keep moving the ball, tire them out. And obviously when things open up, we can bring people like Steady on. They can hurt you. People like Hooper, who looked a bit sharp out there tonight. So some classy movements from him. But I thought Steady, when he came on, made a good impact. And I thought Ben Winter was outstanding. Standing to come on after Danny going off injured in a position of centre back. I thought he was brilliant. He showed a real good, mature, professional performance, and he's a senior player at a football club. I thought he was excellent. And obviously, Don Revan had to go into the middle hit. I thought he did really well as well. So, really good defensive performance from us tonight. Obviously, made four changes from the team that played on Saturday. Two of them were Senior and Revan, who not necessarily got many minutes this season. How did you think those two got on today? Well, I just looked at them. They've loads of pace. They try to get down the sides here. Dom's got pace. He can get in the channel. Uh, Jerome Akimo has got pace. He can get in the channel. Courtney's more of a winger. We felt we could hurt them. They're back four and stretch that back four and open up gaps within that. And obviously, Idris coming back as well is a huge boost. So, pace on both flanks. Pay a little bit more pace in the back line. We're able to deal with their pace. So. Um, and they're, they're so tough to play against because they're trying to get down the side, they're trying to get long throws, make entries. And to be fair to the front lads, they keep bending their runs down the channels. And uh, you know, their game team, then they're, they're gonna. I think they'll do all right in the national league. So I've got to be honest with you, um, I've been really impressed with them. Um, unfortunately, a bit like Saturday, we lost uh, Danny Collins early on in the uh, about 15 minutes into the game. Was that just as a precaution or as something? It's volume of games, it's the amount of games we have. Um, it's as simple as that. We've got volumes and volumes of games. We're doing our best with our recovery. To be fair to Jade, she does our best. She's, uh, you know, she's doing unbelievable, really, uh, with how she walks out of her football club, her physio. Um, he just feels there's something in his groin, so I don't know how bad it's going to be. It'll have to settle down over the next 48 hours. we get a scan and see how it is. But this is what happens when you play Saturday, Tuesday. And this is where you need the squad. You need strength and depth uh, throughout your squad. And, I think we've just played four midweeks on the bounce, haven't we? We've got another one next week, so it's not ideal. He's a, he's a key member of our team, so it is what it is. Someone else gets to step in, someone else gets the opportunity, and they've got to step up like Don Revan did tonight, like Courtney Senior did tonight. They have to step up now and be consistent with their performances. Obviously, Ben Winter was the one who came on to replace Danny. Had an excellent game from him, and obviously a clean sheet today, which is great for the team. Yeah, clean sheets boost confidence. It's good for Laurie. Um, I didn't think he had many saves to make in that sense. Early on, he made a couple of routine saves, but I thought really good performance for him. Obviously, a great win tonight. Uh, a couple of weeks away, but Curzon Ashton is in the next round away. Had another tricky tie in the cup. Yeah, look, again, it's going to be a long way to go. So um, they're doing great in their division, just like Avery as well. So in the league below, we, this is the cup, and uh, people are going to be looking for it's an underdog competition. I say it's the best competition in the world. So the main thing for us is look the next game which is Maidenhead, Alan Devons just coming to us, seasoned manager in this division, you know, a brilliant manager, I've got to be honest, a manager I've learned a lot of, always very open and easy to talk to, um, and he's got a real hard work, hard work and well-organised team, so that's my next focus, that's the only focus I have really. Um, it's great for our supporters, I want to thank our supporters who come out, come out tonight, I think there was 470 of them, it's a real disappointing turnout, I have to be honest. Um, for a team that's going really well. I don't know whether our supporters are a little bit disrespectful of the opposition. I don't know whether because England are playing or what. I don't know. I don't know whether people can't afford it or not. But it's a poor it's a poor turnout. For the, for the supporters that did turn out, I want to thank them for their loyal support. Um, I'm not criticising their supporters, but I would have liked to see a bigger gate than that. Dean, congratulations and thank you for your time. Cheers, lads. Thanks.